In this paper, we present efficient geometric modeling for spherical catadioptric imaging systems using axial cone cameras and introduce artistic depth of field effects in wide-angle images. Wide-angle photos typically exhibit large depth of field and lack focusing effects. Here is a refocused image of an outdoor scene obtained using our approach. The field of view of this image is 150 degrees in both horizontal and vertical directions. Our approach is based on using an array of spherical mirrors or an array of refractive spheres. It has several benefits such as ease of use, ease of calibration, single shot capture, flexible camera placement, fast post processing, and form factor. Now we describe our modeling of rotationally symmetric mirrors using axial cone cameras. Consider a pinhole camera placed at the mirror axis and two rays subtending the same angle theta from the vertical. Since the mirror is rotationally symmetric, these rays will intersect at a point on the axis after reflection. Even in 3D, for any rotation around the axis, the rays at angle theta will intersect at the same point on the axis. Thus, a cone of rays from the camera at angle theta can be mapped to a cone of rays at a virtual viewpoint. Since the cone of rays corresponds to a circle of pixels in the image plane, each circle of pixels can be mapped to a perspective camera inside the mirror with a different viewpoint and different cone angle. We call the set of virtual cameras axial cone cameras, since all these cameras will lie on the mirror axis. The advantage of this modeling is that we do not require an explicit pixel-to-ray mapping by solving the reflection equations for each ray. Here we show how the captured photo of multiple spherical mirrors is modeled as axial cone cameras. The axial cone modeling can also be used to model a refractive sphere. The locations and cone angle of virtual cameras differ from the mirror case. Now we describe digital refocusing for wide-angle images using axial cone modeling. Recall that digital refocusing can be done from light fields via texture mapping all the camera images to a refocusing geometry. Since our axial cone modeling models each sphere as multiple perspective cameras, we can directly use texture mapping for refocusing. Here is a captured photo of a 4x3 spherical array. Each sphere image is modeled with axial cone cameras, which are projected to the refocusing geometry to generate a light field view. Here we show the 4x3 light field views where the refocusing geometry is a plane at the background. Note that all straight lines in the scene are mapped to straight lines in the light field view. By averaging these views, we obtain a refocused wide-angle perspective image. Typically, we generate a cube map, which can be used to obtain wide-angle images by applying global projections, such as Mercator and stereographic projections. Now we show results on digital refocusing using the spherical mirror array. Here is a captured photo of three people in a lunchroom. The refocusing video shows that the people in background go in and out of focus. Here is another example on a set of whiteboard markers. Our axial cone modeling can be directly applied to refractive setups. Our axial cone modeling also benefits from the traditional plane sweeping algorithms since it models the rays as multiple perspective cameras. We compute depth maps from light fields using plane sweeping. Similar to camera arrays, due to sparse spatial sampling, large depth variation causes aliasing artifacts. Using the estimated depth map, we simply re-blur the refocused image to produce visually pleasing out-of-focus blur. The depth map can also be used to modify refocusing geometry to bring multiple foreground objects at different depths into focus. Here we show refocusing on each person, as well as focusing on all three people simultaneously. Since we capture a wide field of view light field, we can easily generate narrow field of view refocused renderings. In summary, we proposed a simple, low-cost, practical solution for enabling digital refocusing in wide-angle photography. We presented axial cone modeling to efficiently model an array of mirror spheres, as well as an array of refractive spheres, and show a fast, GPU-based implementation of refocusing. Axial cone modeling also helps in depth estimation, which we use to remove aliasing and achieve surface-dependent refocusing.